Hey guys, welcome along to the Blues Player Challenge 2017. We've got three of our awesome Blues boys competing against each other in challenges set by me. And only one will be crowned my Player Challenge champ for 2017. After taking out the Coast Guard Challenge, Rico is in the lead now with two points. But with two challenges remaining, it's still anyone's to win. So let's get straight into the next one. It's the Blues Cooking Challenge. We've asked them to come up with a good, healthy meal that we're going to get our special judge here to taste here, Steve Jackson, the assistant coach of the Blues. So I guess the boys have to eat pretty healthy. Does that mean that they cook a lot of their meals, or do you think they're more take-out boys? Yeah, no, look, I'll, I'll take my head off them. In, in our job, you know, you've got to eat well. Yeah. Um, when you eat well, you'll be able to perform well, and, you know, and that's what we're looking for. So we'll get the boys to bring out their dishes one by one. Steve is going to do the taste test and then his word will be final. Okay, first up we have Kara. Show us what you got. I have lasagna with asparagus. Wow. Do you normally eat that many vegetables or is this a special occasion? Oh, I know Jacko, he's trying to lose a bit of weight so I thought I'd put a bit of, bring a bit of greenery onto the plate. Awesome. Steve, what do you think? Oh, first impression's not that great. Hmm. All right, why don't you give it a go? Taste test. Mmm, interesting. Not much seasoning at all. Okay, Cara, how confident are you feeling? Oh, after Jacko's comments, not too confident, but uh, I know Rico, he'll more than likely disappoint. <laughs> awesome, okay, thanks. Okay, next up, we've got Matt. Let's take a look at what you got then. Ooh, this is a lot more impressive. Please tell us what you got here. I've uh, just got barbecue chicken breast, um, just a baked sweet potato, um, just at half, because I know Jacko is watching, watching his uh, weight. <laughs> just a bit of steamed broccoli and asparagus and kale. So far, so good. Have a taste. How's that chicken when you, uh, when you cut into it, it looked a little dry? Yeah, it is a little bit dry. I'd probably use a, um, a thigh instead of a breast. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, just because you can't go wrong um, with a thigh, because it's always nice and moist. What do you think about it? Yeah, I'll take, take his feedback on board, I guess. I'm <laughs> obviously very experienced in the food game, mm. um, Jack Owens. <laughs> OK, last one up. We've got Rico. Show us what you got. Oh, wow. Um, so uh, tell us about this culinary masterpiece. Um, it's banana, um, a secret spread, and then there's some lettuce in there. And what are you thinking, Steve? I've never had a banana sandwich, so look. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, give it a whirl. Give it a taste test. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I cooked the bread. Homemade bread? Homemade. Yeah. Everything's homemade, everything you see there. Even the wow, thing. looks store bought. No, it's that good. <laughs> mm. Don't leave home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave home too early. <laughs> okay, now is the moment of truth. Can you please let us know? who takes that number one spot and the competition points. You know, there was one that stood out, you know, had great flavours, obviously thought about, you know, his, his job description and what he's supposed to be eating, and so the winner today goes to uh, Matt Duffy. Matt Duffy, congratulations. How does it feel to be a winner? No, obviously very happy, very proud moment in my life, so, <laughs> yeah, it's good. So Matt has taken out the competition points for this round and is now tied with Rico with one final challenge to go. Look out for our final decider challenge coming soon to the NIV Facebook page. NIV, proud principal partner of the Blues.